Good morning, Miss Somi. Good morning. Hi. How you doing today, huh? She looking a little confused. Oh, oh, okay, okay, Omi. It's my last night in this apartment. You're so me, lady, me. Yeah, this is gonna be like the last time I have this like POV, I guess. Oh my gosh. Honestly, this room felt so small when I first came and now I I just feel like I got used to it and, I got, and it got cozy, but I guess now we're gonna have a change of environment. The movers are gonna be coming tomorrow and then at 10 a.m. And um, I don't know, I'm just excited for to move in. And you guys don't know who I'm moving in with yet or my roomies or anything like that, but you guys will find out soon. Um, I don't know how we're gonna tell people, but it's, uh, it's gonna be different. It's not something I expected, uh, but you know, I love everyone there. So it's gonna, hopefully it'll be a fun year. So, woo! But I am getting sleepy. So, I'll probably just see you guys tomorrow morning. Okay? Talk to you then. Good night. Good morning, guys. It's 10 a.m. and the movers are here. We are, not we, but like I am, uh, I'm just kind of tired. And I don't know how I'm going to get through today, but we'll see. There's a lot of stuff for them to pack. Uh, see, I was in my tiny room and I think there, I don't have that much stuff. You know, I don't because it all fits in that room. But I'm pretty sure I'm going to end up having a lot of stuff still, but you know, it's fine. But it's my last day in the apartment, so I think I might just go outside and enjoy the view a bit. And then also, oh, I have to pack up some kitchen stuff that I want to bring. And yeah, I don't know, but I'm kind of excited. But we just got being chill for a little bit. That He already planned for my room to be a film room. And that uh, I asked him if he was going to miss me when I was gone. And he just said, he already planned for it. Did you already buy stuff for it? Yeah. Holding the lights right now. How could you? You're gonna miss me. I've been waiting for this day for three months, bro. No, you did it. Scar, you're gonna miss me and Scar. Look at us. That's us, the three housemates over there. We didn't even go for food together once. Some Starbucks. Because, you know, last time getting some Starbucks here. Well, I actually got Scar a pink drink, and he said to add one pump of raspberry, making it better. And I said, kind of crazy, you know? Scar is telling me Starbucks recipes now. Look at how things have changed. Tell them what you add to the pink drink. One cup of raspberry. Why is that weird? <laughs> That's literally, I learned that online. That's not weird. It's just funny that you know that. Everyone who drinks pink drinks knows that. That is false. Oh my god, that room's empty. It's actually just like my closet. Holy crap. This is Oh my god, it's, look, it seems kind of sad. Oh, well, all my bathroom stuff is still here, oops. <laughs> now the bathroom is all empty. Goodbye! Well, it's actually time to say goodbye, and it was nice knowing you, and now we're heading over to the new place. Woo! Lots of stuff and still moving in, but we are in the process. There's bed set up, there's other things, I'm sorry. It's like... So, is it... Oh, no, 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 yeah. Um, <laughs> like, so many boxes, but a lot of the closet is set up. I'll film that later, but yeah, this is starting to come along, but we'll show another update. Back in my room now, and oh my god, there's like stuff more set up, and then there's like all this. Bed is set up as well. Um, so there's gonna be some rearranging still probably um, and some clearing up and stuff But you know, this is not bad for the first day of moving a lot of bathroom things set up as well yellow And then a lot of this too Yep, how do you like the first night at the new house? So me? Okay, you don't care. You don't care. That's fine. You're chilling. You can look wherever you are, I guess. So I guess it doesn't matter where we stay, huh? It's morning in the house, and I think Somi really likes this window. Hey, good morning. Good morning. I like the new room, huh, Somi? Do you even care? You're a cat. You're a cat. Do you even know? <laughs> oh, you look at Somi. She just likes sitting by the window. It's so cute. She could perch on it. Hey. First day at the house and Taylor Swift is playing on the speakers, but it's gonna be DMCA So maybe if I talk over it, you can't- <laughs> it won't be DMCA <laughs> Our first lunch here or my first lunch here and then just, you know, outside and it's so nice I love it. It's so peaceful 
And then, oh, I got this. I don't know what to call this exactly. Vermicelli with some fish. Fried fish thingy and bobber. Yeah. We don't have straws in the house yet. It's Starbucks in order. It's not right. It's not right. <laughs> yeah, you her frap with the spoon. Look at this. Oh, God. It really feels so nice right now. Like the window is semi open so you can hear like the breeze. And it's just so relaxing. And just so me here in bed. We're hanging out. Okay, where are you going? As I was saying that. And yeah, it just feels so chill. I love it. Yay. So I actually remember before, um, as I was moving out, I was explaining to you guys about how Somi's been kind of, she's kind of been antsy and like kind of been really, um, like she seems like she's triggered or stressed or something. And so at the old apartment, I was really worried and I was thinking about even taking her to maybe even see like a cat therapist. I know it sounds crazy, but like I'm going to take my cat to see a therapist type of thing, but it was starting to worry me. Um, but then we got to the new house and the first, during the day when the movers were here and everything, she was really stressed and seemed super irritated, but now she seems fine and it seems like she's just back to being normal Somi. Yeah, so it seems like everything is fixed now. She hasn't been peeing on my bed. She hasn't been, um, as cranky, which she kind of, well, a little bit, but like, it's kind of like phasing out. So, I don't know what happened, but maybe the change of environment actually helped a lot, and maybe she just, maybe she doesn't, mm, it's not that she didn't like apartment living, which was weird, because the first month I was there, she was fine. She only started being not fine, maybe like after a month in, so I'm not sure what happened, but I don't know, I'm just, that's been like a huge thing that's been stressing me out, and so finally it's uh, settled now, and it actually seems like she's good again, and like, holy crap, if it feels like all the stuff that was stressing me out in life just slowly started dissipating. Is that even the right word for it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> me gamer brain, me no use big words or no English anymore, but like, yeah, so like it just, I guess all the worries in my life just started disappearing one by one. Like they all started kind of solving themselves. So this makes me feel a lot better. Um, hopefully uh, she's gonna still be good and then be nice old Somi in a happy Somi mood. This is her right now and she's just chilling. Woo! We're all eating dinner. This is one of our first, well, not necessarily, <laughs> but we're eating our first, one of our first meals here, our second meal, and I got a cake. I don't know what this is for, maybe, but this I got cake. Just know it's for me. I had a realization that we live together now. <laughs> She's like, we can Uber together. Yeah. I was like, wait a minute, she knows. Because I I was here. I live here. I at a Hong Kong cafe with Gavin, and we're just here. And then uh, I got a Hon ice Hong Kong milk tea and lemon iced tea and then we got these pineapple buns with like butter and stuff in them and I haven't had this in so long and it's like a bunch of like uh, I guess nostalgic food congee the thousand year old congee and then the the how do I explain this uh noodles with beef, beef. Uh, I give up it is right there at the, the what is this called it's just a tool idea. <laughs> it was this plaza called? Sorry, I just like, oh, right there. Oh, yes, you, yes, with the floating teapot. Okay, but for real, like, what's holding it up? Is there like. Wait, <laughs> you don't know? No, I can't see it. What is it? Is it lines? Where's the pole? the pole? Oh! See the pole yes, in the but what about like this? Like, what's oh, holding God. up the top part? What do you mean it's holding up the top part? It's, it's just this this thing and That's it's it? connected to the sculpture. I know, but like, isn't that the weight distribution is off? You don't think that that looks kind of like, you don't question the weight distribution? Like, how is this pole, the water right there? You don't, think, there, engineers, you like, don't think engineers thought of this? Like, how is this holding up this whole thing? Do you know what I mean? Sorry guys, this is looking really scuffed right now, but I'm appalled. How is this possible? Where are the people in the, not the chat, but the comments who know what's going on here. Somebody explain this to me. I'm too stupid. Hello guys, the hair update of the month. It's an ombre. I've never had this and I love it. Oh my god, I must have went the wrong way. But heading to watch the Jujutsu Kaisen movie now. People said it was good, so I'm excited. Um, I think I'm going with Peter and a couple other friends, so where am I? 
hello i'm home now um the movie was okay, maybe unpopular opinion but i didn't think it was that great but i'm also not like as big of a jujitsu kaisen fan sorry don't hate me um but i like the ending of the movie a lot more than like how it was throughout um i thought it got good near the end so but I know people who do uh, really like Jujutsu Kaisen and they thought it was amazing. So yeah, but just probably not exactly for me. But if you guys haven't watched it yet, it's still worth a watch, so. I'm your Xiaomi. She's been so cuddly ever since um, being at this house. Look at her. <laughs> Annie. So today I am at the. Hmm. Uh, Gavin, what is this called again? The Academy, Academy? Motion Picture Something Museum. Academy <laughs> Mo uh, Motion Picture Museum. What he said, and what I said after. Um, we are going to the Miyazaki Museum and stuff like that to check it out. So, woo! I'm Miyazaki excited. Exhibit. Yes. Oh my God! Giant shark. Oh, it's right here. Oh, this is where you can take the pictures and everything. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this is so cool. This wall is so cute. It has the little soup balls here. Soup balls? Yeah. And then it has everything alongside here. Oh, the, the key. <gasps> Spirited Away. Okay, I want to rewatch Spirited Away. I haven't seen it in a hot minute, so I actually don't remember what really happens, but this is so sick. Um, on here. Just got back from the museum and it was actually so freaking cool. The art is so cute and the watercolors are beautiful and everything. So, oh, there's also another thing that I realized that they um, definitely use magic or something in their uh, in the in the paintings because there's no way they make it look that good and that realistic. It was insanely good. Like you have to just see it for yourself. If you guys ever want to check it out, please do the museums here in LA. I know it's a lot. Thank <laughs> you.